We're now gonna look at connecting to an SMTP server to be able to send email with PHP Mailer. Now I'm gonna be using Gmail, but you can use any SMTP service. Go ahead and look one up. And once you have the details, you can use them here. So the first thing that we want to do is create a new PHP Mailer object. So let's store this in a variable called M just for simplicity. This in my case just stands for mail or email or whatever. This is going to be a new PHP mailer. We don't need brackets because we're not passing any options through to this. But what we now need to do is go ahead and set different properties. The first thing we're going to do though is call a method called isSMTP. That will just tell PHP mailer that we want to use SMTP to send our email. So we say is SMTP. So that's all we need to do to tell PHP Mail that we want to use SMTP. Now we need to do things like set the host, the username, the password, and all that other information. But what I'm going to do now is say SMTP auth is true. So now what we're doing is setting properties. So we set this to true, a Boolean value. We're also going to turn debugging on. And this is really useful if you are connecting to an SMTP server for the first time, but you might be having a few problems. So this will set debugging on. And I'm setting this to two, which is going to give me just messages. But you can set this to one. That's going to give you error codes and messages. So now I'm going to choose the host that I want to connect to. It's obviously really important. So this is host with a capital H. And I am choosing SMTP gmail.com. Let me just separate these so a little easier to see. So we now want to supply the username and the password. So let's just fill them in. If you're using SMTP like me to authenticate, uh, you can use all the details like the host and the port that we're going to look at in a moment and also the secure type as well. So all you'll need to do here is replace your Gmail username and password. So in this case, I enter my uh, email and I enter my password. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is uh, set the secure type. In this case, it's going to be SSL. So we say SMTP secure, and this is using SSL. And what we also need to define is which port we're using. This isn't necessary for all SMTP servers, but in this case, we're going to specify which port we want to use here. Now this is actually all that we need to do to connect to our SMTP server and start sending email down here. So go ahead find your details, apply them here uh, and we'll go ahead and look at sending emails in the next part.